Hydram pump is a type of water pump that works automatically with no need of electricity. Then how this pump works? This animation will show us in detail how Hydram operated. The thing must we know, even Hydram works without electricity, it does not mean Hydram can operate itself. Still, it needs something to power it. On this case, Hydram powered by water flow. So, Hydram pump generally used to move the water from a river to higher place. And this pump should be placed on the flow of water. Because this flow will be source of energy to power Hydram. The word Hydram comes from hydraulic and ram. It means Hydram works using hydraulic power created by water flow. It means this pump will not operate on a water reservoir that has no flow. Hydram generate power to lift water to higher place because the presence of water hammer effect. This effect is created inside Hydram using a valve. This is the illustration. When the water flow on a pipe, it occurs dynamic force. This flow presence because the water is flowing. When we close the pipe immediately, the water flow will hit the closed pipe. It will rise the pressure significantly in short time. From this drastically pressure increase, we advantage it as power source to send the water upside. Then how to apply it? On a unit of hydram, there are many components. First, we start from main pipe. This is where the water hammer effects occur inside the pump. Then there is an input channel as a place for water to come in. The output channel to flow out the water, and the toward upside we see a waste channel. Input channel connected to input pipe. Usually here, there is a sluice gate to activate or deactivate the pump. This input pipe, connected to a flow hose that the end of the hose should be located in the water flow. And this end also located in higher position. It aims to strengthen water flow inside the input pipe. So, this input pipe will supply water that will pump upside. And it also powered the hydramp to operate it. So that, this input hose made in big diameter to get more water flowing. In minimum, we need 7 liters per minute water flow to make it operate properly. While an output pipe, the pipe will turn upside. At here, will be installed a valve. This is conducting valve. This is one-way valve. Or, it can be said that the valve only flows a fluid in a direction. On this case, the valve will flow the water from the pump upside. But it will not make the water that has traveled the valve to go back to main pipe. Then on the waste channel, will be installed a waste valve. This valve is the important thing to make water hammer effect. So, when water flow from inlet hose, the water has dynamic force. This force occurs because water flowing inside the pipe. The water will fill the hydram pipe until it presses waste valve. When water press the waste valve, some water will flow out and some water will push the valve upside. When the valve push to upper position, it will suddenly close the waste channel. So that, it occurs water hammer effect. The result of water hammer effect the pressure increases significantly on a moment. When it happens, this high pressure will push conducting valve so that it opened and water from main pipe flow out to output pipe. When the effect of water hammer done, the pressure inside hydram will back to initial pressure. It will normalize the position of both valves. Conducting valve will close by spring force and hydrostatic force from water in top of it while waste valve will move down because gravity. When both valves in its original position, hydram is ready for next cycle. So, the point, this pump will work once the water flowing inside the pump with sufficient flow. It will move both valves to open and close alternately. So that, 
it will cause frequency pump effects. Because this pump is frequent, it will make the pressure unstable. So that we need stabilizer. This air tank located to stabilize the water pressure. With this air tank, water pressure from hydram not all will pump out. But some pressure will flow out to output hose, and some pressure will compress air tank. When the water hammer effect done, the pressure inside hydram back to normal. And the air that pressurized before will expand. This expansion force will push remaining water to flow out to output hose. This is the different. Even the spray not as strong as the pipe with no air tank, but the water flow in more stable. And the determination of pipe size is not taken wrong way. Output hose should be smaller to make the water can be pumped upward. Of course it has formula to calculate it. If you want to know the calculation, you can search some journal. That is the animation of how hydram pump works. Hope adds our insight.